It's early 2014. You're playing on your Minecraft single player world, but you opened it to local area network out of habit. You enter the mines beneath your house to gather resources. You gather some materials and begin heading back up. But as you do so, you begin hearing the sound of You run out in a panic. To what remains of your home? Who could have done this? Seeing as anyone on the Wi-Fi could have joined, Occam's Razor would say it's one of your family members. But you know better. And also don't know what that is. You've heard stories like this before. Flames, explosions, the passage of blame to multiple parties. But you're smarter than that. This is no friend trolling you. This was done by a figure you've recently heard of. One who's ruined the worlds of many. One who acts without remorse. One whose main goal is to cause mass suffering. This is Entity 303. You boot up Skype and search for a contact. The dude who spread the first warnings of this figure. An individual who's been organizing the group to investigate it. Here encounters like yours, and most importantly, fighting back. He knows its story, how it operates. His name, The Speed 179. You must have realized it. You have no chance against me. Most people who've played Minecraft know of its most creepy figure, Herobrine. While not all of them know of his origins, there's a decent amount who do, and plenty of creators have covered it. Entity 303 is arguably the second most popular creepy figure in Minecraft pop culture. And despite his origins being much clearer than Herobrine's, 303's creator is barely heard of. Why is that? Okay, before we go further, I need to clarify something. Despite my embellishments, or whatever you'd call this, I guarantee you'll have a hard time taking this video seriously. And that's okay. This video is to document the original story of Entity 303, and its forgotten creator. If you die inside of parts, know that I did too. But if you were part of the community back then, you'd overlook all of it. Just as I did. The Speed 179 created his YouTube channel on July 16th, 2012. His first videos are what you'd expect from a kid on YouTube, and they perform just as well. But Speed thought he could do better. Seeing others make fake hero Brian sighting, he decided to try it his own. Unfortunately for him, his computer was too trash to get a decent recording. Despite this, the genre still allowed the video to be seen, giving him decent enough views for Speed to pursue the genre later on. But until he could record a video without his computer throwing him in the ring, it was back to the Roblox slideshows. A year passes and he decides to give it another go. If he's to truly get a chance at being a YouTuber through this genre, he had to get more creative with presenting it. Recording proper gameplay was still impossible, he had to tell his story more traditionally. Recount, write, and present what he experienced, instead of showing it. A documentary of events, all made up by him. To do this, he made a literal slideshow presentation. Despite hardware fighting against him, his creativity was shined through it. A new creepy figure, and a new catchy phrase that it didn't intrigue anyone familiar with Minecraft. The new Hero Brine. People just had to figure out what's going on, so they tuned in. By the hundreds of thousands. Of course, it wouldn't be what they expected. The new Herobrine Incident, Entity 303. A new ghost has appeared in Minecraft. It appears to only be in creative mode and has only been experienced in Xbox 360 edition so far. However, many victims have experienced this beloved Minecraft. 12, 13, 2013. I was playing with some friends on Xbox 360, playing Minecraft and we were in a creative mode building a huge city. The world was also on peaceful mode. We were all having a great time until someone's house started burning. Now, of course, we have all heard of griefers. But in fact, we were blaming everyone. In fact, another house started burning as well. We blamed the host using his host privileges. However, we were wrong. 
We all decided to investigate what really was going on. We all went to a house together, including the house, only to see the most scariest thing happen. We looked through the windows, only to see TNT go off by itself somewhere in the distance. We, st we were starting to get scared, and soon would be even more scared. Taking it to the next step. We then began to look around houses, and most of them were on fire. There was nothing that could set these houses on fire, and fire spreads were off. So were TNT explosions. To prove this, I tried both, only to believe that the host and TNT and fire did not work. Once more, crap started happening when we were all together, including the host. No one was missing in the house. I counted heads and we were all together. But stuff was happening and we couldn't explain it. To my surprise, we started finding signs and TNT started going off again. It was too much. I plugged in an anonymous cable in my Xbox and into my computer. I opened up a program used to read the source codes that were going on. To my surprise, the source codes described this entity as 303. Source codes going insane. My source codes soon started getting out of control. Weird, 303 entity codes were showing up and I couldn't stop them. My computer was being overwhelmed with this. I tried to find out what was causing this, but I just couldn't. Just 303 did this and that. Nothing else. Nothing. But not everything was caused by him. The host decided to try to scare us by trolling us as well. It wouldn't be a secret for long. The source codes told me everything that was happening, including what the players did, and me as well. But soon the source codes were done. They were surely done for it. 303 Entity Spells Words No matter how hard I tried, I couldn't discover what was happening. But the source code soon spelled out the words, Make a Wish. Surely, I thought this was the host, and once everyone, once again, everything started blaming everyone. As you can see in the source codes, I highlighted everything caused by Entity 303. Block 1241 is TNT. Item 3213 is Flint and Steel. Block 4 is wood, and also in the RAR of the world, I highlighted Make-A-Wish, as I said earlier. This list went on and on, completely busting my computer, but one question remains. Is this here a rain? Other encounters. Soon the host had to go to sleep and left the world. However, the source codes were still working, no idea why and the world was off. Entity 303 was still controlling the world, although I didn't have a chance to take a picture of the source codes that he was causing. I decided to exit my program and look in the Minecraft forums of anyone else that had seen this mysterious entity, and so there was a few people. Some of them sent me pictures of what they had taken, and only one PC player got to take a picture as he encountered it as well. He said that he was playing with a friend on a private G server on Minecraft. As you can see, they encountered it as well. Yes, it has a texture pack, but he sent me the texture pack and there's no... I got to take... He was play... He, was... he said he was playing with this, his friend on a private Hamachi server on Minecraft. As you can see, they encountered it as well. Yes, it has a texture pack, but he sent me the texture pack and there's no mob or block that had the white skin. Studying the skin. I soon zoomed into the picture, only to find the skin more seeable. However, I cut out its background and started moving around the skin, studying every small detail that he had. To my surprise, 303 had red eyes, a white skin, and a black body. He also seemed to have a white parka on, probably for decoration. He didn't look so scary, not until the truth got even scarier. Where was here, Ryan? I questioned myself. I couldn't find the answer and decided to search for it. However, Soon, a mysterious profile on the forum started chatting to me. He only said a few words and then left the chat. Notch would really think that you're crazy when he sees this. By the way, you are next. He quickly left the conversation. I hurried and clicked on his profile, but the page fell forward. Soon, I received an inbox message from him and pressed replied. I asked him what Herobrine was, only to get back a scary reply. Herobrine is dead. I replied to 303 and asked him what had happened to Hero Run, and I got these messages. I was using another website to reply to him for protection. I was in my inbox replying to him. 
The website is anonymous as well. I started to reply to him, as you can see in this message, but I thought that I shouldn't. So I didn't. But I didn't know that this man was a website admin. On the forums, my account suddenly signed out. I tried to sign in, only for the forums to tell me one short message. Your account has been deleted for the following reason. Stop. I couldn't believe it! I made another account and started st and stopped researching. Then I went to sleep as well. Today. To this day, I still continue to research about this man, and there has been no videos about 303 in YouTube yet, so I decided to make my own, which is this one. I, however, need help from you guys. Yes, if you guys look up 303, you won't find anything, because according to this research, this man started on December 10th, 2013. No one has posted anything, said anything, or even written anything because of being scared. If you're going to look for him, good luck. And remember, if crap starts happening in your world, it may be Entity 303. Good luck, guys. Have a great life. Yet due to the majority of viewers being kids, credence was given to Speed's new character. Even with the little evidence of poor story, he was believed. Entity 303 was granted believability in the Minecraft community. And Speed enjoyed a successful creation. Eager to continue it, he added a comment on the video. But we'll come back to that. Three months after his initial video, Speed would continue the story of Entity 303, reinforcing it as the truth. The truth. Unfortunately, Entity 303 has become unstoppable and cannot be destroyed anymore. This video will show you his up-to-date actions, also learn how to prevent him and his consequences. Entity 303 has tried hard to take down my first documentary. I have continuously gotten messages from random users to take it down. I then decoded all these random numeric letters in their usernames. Here are my results. Entity 303 also seemed to be in Minecraft crash codes on PC. Notice there is a 303 crash code there. See it? Now we go on the signs that he is in your world. Here they are. Obviously, house is burning randomly, and more than once is the reason. Random TNT explosions can also be the cause. Random trees like this. Now this has no source code that makes the world generate this. Also upside down crosses, which means that Entity 303 could be part of the Illuminati. Yeah, sure. Now comes how to prevent him. Keep her hero brain spawners to a specific number. Chases our entity uses these spawners to get himself spawned. Entity 303 also developed a new skill which causes players to hallucinate 303's history. One person said that Notch was burning and 303 blew him up to finish him. Not good. If you get a random link, like on a sign randomly in your single player world, DO NOT GO TO IT! Hacking systems are so advanced. Lastly, don't waste your time to go out hunting for him. You might not even find him, or worse, he will think you are threatening him. Those were the ways to prevent him and how to tell if he's in your world. Be careful, he is still out there. Thus shall remain safe. A question that was asked will be answered in this video. Entity 303 is an Xbox 360 edition, PC, and PE edition. No signs on PS3 have been detected yet. Speed begins the video by bringing up cryptic, dissuasive messages he's been receiving, all supposedly tying back to Entity 303. He then goes into the science that Entity 303 is in your Minecraft world. From senseless destruction, sideways birch wood and oak trees, to upside down nether at crosses, and that one way he can get into your Minecraft world is by hijacking fake herobine spawners. While the story's silly, it is still straightforward and believable. There are no outlandish claims which can't be shrugged off. In other words, you can shrug off his comment about the Illuminati if you have half a brain cell. A month later, in Speed posts his next documentary video. 
of the war. Our favorite video game is about to go into a giant catastrophe caused by an expelled Mojang worker. We are not in control no more, and Mojang has sided themselves with 4J Studios' theory. Without Mojang helping us, Minecraft society is at risk. The new ghost, or should I say expert, has managed to hack into Minecraft society and all worlds are at risk. Without defense, our society will cripple along with them fun inventions, adventures, and even the game itself. All because we trusted Mojang. We must not allow that. But guess what? With people saying this is fake, or I trust the very creator of the game, we have managed to kiss goodbye to hope. Our victory is now as hard to achieve due to those type of people. But hey, it's a hypothesis. For now. However, thanks to many of these supporters, even a comment fought with Mojang, we managed to convince half of Minecraft's players to fight, but not all of them, yet. But of course, due to the huge amount of investigators that I received, we might win. Each day I receive 2-5 to five friend requests from people who need help with Entity 3 or 3, others want to help fight. I personally thank all those people, you know who you are, and don't panic. We are not so close, but also not too far from finding a cure. But also, don't cheer. Entity 303 is in a professional hacking team with about 5 people helping him. He has managed to help get those people into the game and now there are the following mobs to watch out for. Mask of Death, first sighted by a group of players. This is a dark mob that controls the world's gravity. Any direct contact with them can lead to getting yourself killed, so don't get too close. Fire Demon, first sighted by our famous helper, Headshot Productions TV. This fire demon has been sighted on PC in a snowy terrain. Not much has been investigated of this creature. However, no player is safe with this guy in your world. Mossy Nightmare Sighted by two players in a dungeon, this creature camouflages itself with the moss stone and traps players inside dungeons. Unfortunately, only coding can detect when this guy is around, so remember to always take a sword everywhere. Caveman Sounds funny? Yes, this guy traps you inside caves and steals their torches to surround you with plain darkness. Also known as the King of Zombies, he can spawn a numerous amount of mad mobs around the player. And lastly... Mini 303. This creature hides inside sheep and causes them to do odd actions. Players claim that sheep with axes chase players and others sprint away extremely fast from the player. Personally, I thought this was a joke, until I saw it myself. Back to 303. 303 seems to have an underestimated amount of skills. However, ratios and estimations have been compared, and the results were extremely disturbing. Entity 303 is in every world, from the ones you just started to the ones you can't even remember of anymore. He just doesn't do the same thing in each one. Pretty disturbing, right? He's in each one of your worlds! Soon, I started playing with the people that had added me and we began investigating. Some were actually haunted. However, others were simply trolled. In one case, I was building a low in a player's world. There was two people in the world, excluding myself. I then heard an enderman getting damaged and in footsteps. The world was on peaceful mode. I checked my map, and the other two players were extremely far away. It couldn't have been them. Soon, TNT suddenly went off. It literally destroyed everything I had built, and I was blamed and kicked from the game. In another one, I got some pictures of evidence. This world was haunted, because I was with the host the whole time, and it was just me and him. Unfortunately, I couldn't get those pictures into the video. Somehow I managed to show them to the public. However, the picture of 303 I took came out blurry, scrambled, and mystical. I used source codes in almost each world to track down 303. However, my coding can't track down the new ones. Still, I can do something to help you if you have Xbox 360 edition Minecraft. <laughs> is 303 is PS3? No sightings have been filed, nor has any infected source code. Does Mojang or 4J Studios know about this? They currently do. However, they ignore it and claim it's fake. What are the source codes? Source codes are the codes that control the world. Special programs are needed to read them. What does 303 mean by make a witch? It seems to be a threatening message. Not even I know what exactly he means by it. What will happen by 2015? 303 will reveal who he really is and what his goal is. Also, he will be in control of Minecraft. By covering Entity 303, he sparked a war. Speed's army of Minecrafters, or whatever the heck, and a group of master coders hacking the Minecraft mainframes. The once one-man army has become a group. 303 assembled his own side, consisting of Mask of Death, Fire Demon, found by Speed's friend, Headshot Productions, who is important later, Mossy Nightmare, Caveman, and Mini 303. If these were real people, that's a kind of cringe name to go by. Just like 303, all these hacker men had their own special abilities, which you already saw and aren't important to remember. Despite most believing him, Speed's discontent with others not taking him seriously has been ever-increasing. 
He wanted everyone to believe him or to stop complaining. While getting plenty of support, he couldn't help but fixate on the naysayers, to the point that because of them, Mojang doesn't care about Entity 303 and that all Minecraft's hope has been lost. Another month passes and Speed posts the fourth part to his documentary. It seemed as though their group was approaching the cure to ending this once and for all. But to do so, Speed needed to make up some revelations about Herobrine. He was real, and we were all wrong about him. Herobrine. Before the information begins, I would like to tell you the truth of Herobrine. Herobrine has always been our friend. He blew up houses and set them on fire to show what 303 would be doing. He vanished when we pursued him because he thought we would hurt him. That's why he's always been asking for help. And here is the story of what happened. We got the story by uncracking many codes and putting together similar puzzle pieces. Hero Run was created in Minecraft Alpha by Mojang to test new features of the game. I thought it would be cool to ask Entity 303 if he could somehow give Hero Run to me. What? And so he did. When Mojang workers weren't looking, he got a code and put it into Herobrine. This code allowed me to grab Herobrine. So I did and turned him into an account. And made his my own skin for him. Steve with blank eyes. I thanked 303 and no one. Found out what 303 had done. I was excited and I hacked into my first Minecraft world. I followed the player until he turned around and screenshotted me. I quickly went on the forums to delete whatever mysterious post came up. After I dealt with him, I... I thought about helping Minecraft players, but I left my computer for a long time, and I sometimes went online and haunted players. I continued this for years, until one day I received a mad call from 303 saying he had gotten fired because he was blamed. <coughs> 303 then stated that he was going to get revenge on Mojang since he was no longer happy. So he got on his hacking equipment and made himself known as Entity 303. He then hacked into a PC world and they spotted him as well, but then a signal. Came from Xbox 360 Minecraft so he quickly went to the signal and vanished from his pursuers. However, they spotted him as well, so he then began to move around other worlds. The second encounter then told public about 303, and 303 got mad, and he began... ...hacking into other people's worlds. However, he wants to hack me offline and is trying to find me right now. I tried to warn millions of people when to their worlds, but they thought I was a hostile to them. I was extremely sad. I wish this wasn't important. And there it was. We need to help Herobrine somehow before 2015. However, I have a dark secret that I need to tell you guys that I have been hiding. The first encounter person vanished. He hasn't been online ever since that day. And we will need help finding him. But also, I have found the meaning of Make-A-Wish. In Mortal Kombat 9, there's a character that does the fatality called Make-A-Wish. How brutal. And we found the secret meaning of it. 3 or 3 is the character. Other copies of the character are also on his team. And the character getting brutally killed is you! How could we have known? That is mostly all I needed to inform you guys of. However, we have some famous fakers who need to be exposed. Do they though? Max Ridge. Max Ridge only wants views and attention. He claims 303 is in his world when it's just another player with his skin and he turned gamer tags off. This evidence has no entry to my files. Please, people, do not hate on him either. Just don't believe him. Entity 303, opening parentheses, YouTube account, close parentheses. This is some random guy that wants attention as well. All he does is spam and make fake and annoying posts. Please, do not believe this guy. Notch, YouTube account. Another faker who wants attention. Please, ignore his posts as well. You get the point. So all Herobrine's actions were actually warnings of what Entity 303 would do, and these weird warm-ups were his way of asking for help to deal with them. Uh-huh. Apparently Herobrine and Entity 303 knew each other in real life, and one day they were just doing their thing when suddenly Entity 303's stepbrother gets eaten by an alligator. In Sweden. Yes, they're just at the zoo. Anyways, because of this 303 went to war with Mojang and got himself fired. It still maintained access to Minecraft's code. Somehow. The Swedish word for help Herobrine used was made up by another YouTuber. Along came Josh. It's interesting that Swede would believe videos from Josh, whose channel is much larger than his, and strongly discredit others such as Max Ridge, trying to make his own fake sighting videos. While he certainly wasn't the only one exposing people, his calling out of the fakers and folks calling him fake would continue. And only 11 days after part 4, 
he would escalate it further. Speed's fifth part of his documentary is... horrible. I cannot bring myself to write off what he says in it, nor do I want to show you. Simply put, the fame Speed gained from Entity 303 had gone to his head. The last minute and a half-ish of this video consists of insults, accusations, and remarks he throws at those who attacked his videos. The things he said are absurd, and I cannot understate that. All the nonsense he chucked at the haters is just as stupid as the nonsense they threw at him. He wasn't addressing constructive comments, but one's literally equivalent to fake and dumb. <sighs> I... don't remember this. When I saw Speed's videos back in the day, I was along for the ride with every other kid. I wasn't there to consider if it was fake or real, I was there for entertainment. I never believed his story, but I also wasn't there to hate him for telling it. I appreciated it for what it was, a story. This video was very hard for me to make because of this. I wanted to recount Speed's story and give him the attention he deserves for creating something which overshadowed him, but I can't just shrug off the crap he said, and neither could others closer to him. Headshot Productions TV joined Yuto on December 4th, 2011. With similar interests to the Speed 179, the two quickly became friends following his first documentary. But ever since the beginning, something nagged at Headshot's mind. Something was telling him all of this was fake. Even though he too witnessed odd occurrences in Minecraft, it could easily be shrugged off as coincidence. Eventually, he confronted Speed about his concerns. Initially, he continued to lie, mentioning smart phrases like artificial intelligence. But Headshot persisted. Eventually, he cracked. 303 wasn't real, and he never will be. But while Headshot was ready to bring this to the community, Speed wasn't. He felt bad for misleading everyone and wanted to tell the truth, but he wanted fame more. Following part 5 of the documentary, the two's disagreements worsened. Headshot wanted this to stop, but his friend ignored him. He needed to end things one way or another, and if Speed wasn't going to stop on his own, then he had to raise the pressure. Two months after part 5, Headshot would release the truth to the public, and in turn, stab his friend in the back. The real truth. This debate of Entity 303 has been going on in the internet for too long. Fake this, and fake that, real this, and real that. I myself wanted to know the truth. The truth to know if Entity is real or fake. I've known Speed since this whole thing started. I saw his video and decided to investigate with him. We became very good friends. I wanted to risk our friendship by saying if Entity is real or not. I told him I was tired of all of this debating going on. The truth is surprising. He told me Entity 303 is fake, and never will be real. I recorded our conversation for proof. People have been sending me messages that I will soon reveal the truth. I myself thought to give Speed the test and let him say it instead. I, after all these months, thought Entity 303 was real. Giving info like witnesses and weird encounters. However, there is this hacker. As I said, the one who hacked my IP, that actually did happen, but I mean, you'll have to fall for his trap in order for him to get it. He doesn't mess with Minecraft database or anything. It was just a wannabe Entity 303 member. And the info I always put in my videos were reasoning ideas which I always said. Investigators do the same thing in real life, and since I thought he was real, I reasoned to this. In the other hand, I thought Entity 303 was real due to the witnesses in the internet. I've been lied by 10,000 people, and the infecting dot Minecraft folders was also something I reasoned because it happened to a witness saying he got a file with 303 in it, and his maps were always badly glitched and badly made. I, however, think now since Entity 303 is fake, that this is just a bad computer plugin. There are a lot of videos of me talking about Entity 303, however, there is one video that I showed the inverted cross, I don't know about that, encounter, but I believe it's just a bad seed generator or something. I became badly annoyed when I heard all of this. That's not the only thing I heard from him. He's been saying other stuff too which will be revealed in my conversation recording video. I knew I had the chance to expose the truth, so that is exactly what I did. I'm also prepared for the flaming that is about to be caused in the comment section. I, however, did this for the community. As I said a bunch of times, I didn't do this for subs or views. And as I post this video, I know some people will unsubscribe to me. If you want to do that, go ahead. I was never expecting to get this famous anyways. I was already used to it since the start. Speed also wanted to ditch his channel and shut it down by 2015. The reason he wanted to do this is because it was a mistake since the beginning. He thought what he saw was Entity 303, but instead it was something else. Something wrong went with the source coding which said 303, but it was a mistake. He wanted to say the truth in his third video, but he didn't want to be hated. I, however, got lied to by Speed, but even though Speed is a nice person, he doesn't deserve to get hated at. I know some people might be angry now, but I mean it's how life is.
I still, however, want to make videos, but I'm planning on leaving this investigation thing. I'm not sure if here by himself is even real since I heard the truth. All this creepypasta can be a hoax just like Entity 303. And in the other hand, I will be renaming all my videos of Entity 303, fake or exposed. I don't want to delete them because this will be history just in case something similar like this happens again. On the 1st of September, Headshot uploaded two videos. A slideshow with the truth and messages of proof. But by this point, even though Speed was threatened with this, he was prepared to stop it. On the same day, he uploaded his own video. Is Entity 303 real? Is he really real? Is it all a hoax? I'd like to tell you guys, it's all an experiment. We wanted to see how much people would believe in only one screenshot. The results were surprising. This wasn't actually for attention. It was an experiment. If you are mad right now to the tip of your toes, I understand your pain. I was fooled by four years by a friend of mine's. However, please keep watching. I will not allow Josh to do what I'm doing. The December incident was real. However, my friend was messing with us. Now that the truth is out there, spread it more and more. However... Along came Joss H. If you're watching this, I will expose you. You're making much money out of this. And people are allowing it! 1. How can someone be trapped in a video game? If Herobrine was trapped, why doesn't he just go do something else such as browse the web? Or something? 2. Josh is the only honest one around here? Really? Herobrine says Josh is the only honest one around here. Are you kidding? 3. Why does Herobrine just go to Josh? There's more than a thousand people he can go to. Why choose Josh? No one can help him anyways. According to him, it was all an experiment. To see how many he could convince with just one screenshot. But while 303 is fake, he still believed in paranormal Minecraft occurrences. The story from his first part of the documentary was real, but it was his friend all along. Who knows when he found this out, but it undoubtedly upset him. He was lied to, and knew he too had lied to thousands of people. The amount of lies in the community made him sick, so in the same video where he tells the truth, he attacks along came Josh. As mentioned before, Josh was another YouTuber making fake videos about Herobrine around the same time. Speed believed Josh. A part of him too was saying it's all fake. Wanting it all to stop, he tried exposing him, as did other channels. But as far as I'm aware, Josh never conceded. However, he wasn't exactly committed to hiding it either. Following the confession, Speed would move on from the documentary videos. Initially wanting to stop by 2015, the same year the supposed Entity 303 war would begin, he continued making other videos such as Top 10s and Films about 303 both of which are interesting videos to learn about him, but I'll let you see him for yourself. Despite Entity's war never happening, another type of war did. Let's go back to the comment Speed made in 2014, before part 2 of his documentary. I am Entity 303. I am the future of Herobrine. Herobrine is a pathetic teddy bear with blank eyes. How is that scary? It isn't. And Notch will pay for firing me! My life was in Mojang, and now it's in a trash can. The war has only begun, kids. And by 2015, EVERYONE WILL KNOW ABOUT ME! You will not stop me, kid. In some twisted way, Entity 303's warning was correct. He would not be stopped. And a war would start. The War of Legitimacy. Despite Speed being the creator, the popularity of 303 was much larger than him. In a comment he left on his first top 10, he debunked accusations people were making about him, claiming he wasn't the original creator. And even though his comment was decently thought out, 
Unlike what he said in part 5, it would only be seen by at most 100,000 people. He even made a fake legal document claiming he copyrighted Entity 303 and wouldn't use the real legal document unless he has to. That's a bit far, but ultimately Speedside had already lost, and he knew that. While well, Speed didn't make the skin, nor take the screenshot, he still told the story. Entity 303, as a concept, was made by him, and I don't think that should be forgotten. He created the second most popular creepy figure in Minecraft, and even Notch heard of it. Speed might have been a real life version of the kids are dumb excuse, as I said in my previous video, but so were you and I. On January 10th, 2015, I made a quick render of Entity 303 and shared it online. And initially, I didn't know it, but that image now has over a thousand views. But on YouTube, people use my render for thumbnails. The videos have hundreds of thousands of views. One over 10 million. Yet, I was never credited. Much like Speed's behaviors, I emailed these YouTubers about crediting me for using my image. Only one of them listened. In one way or another, I know what it's like to create something that overshadows you. And unfortunately, it's simply an unspoken truth on the internet. Thank you so much for over 500 subscribers. I still can't comprehend that. And thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Seriously, I've been extremely anxious about how my next video will do, aka this one. But feel free to subscribe, and I'll try my best to make more videos like this. Either way, hopefully I'll see you in my next video. See ya.